once again, we are playing Mega Man 11, The Blind Run. Ow. Wait. What? So, uh, today we're going to be tackling block- Ah! Gotcha! Ah! I said today we're going to be talking about the attack once you make that second step, and- oh. You cut that out! Look. Look. I know we're playing through a stage that I've played before. I've played it in the demo. And I played it with my buddy Mike, and I showed it on the channel, but it's different now. I got different weapons. I don't have Mike. And I'm actually playing on a decent controller. Anyway, let's do this. It's different. So here we are in good old Blockman stage. Uh, so... So right off the bat, there are definitely some similar there are definite similarities from the demo version. I got different weapons now. So instead of getting Scramble Thunder or Thunder Scrambler, I think it's called, and uh, Pile Driver, I now have uh, Chain Blast, uh, Burning Torch, and uh, Thunderstorm. So let me go ahead and take this guy out. And these things are pretty hard to shoot. Ah, that was one in a million. <laughs> so I'm thinking this guy would be vulnerable to this. Hmm. And I would be wrong. And I chose wrong. Stone Man stage in, uh, this engine. And rocks fall and everybody dies. Well, I die. <laughs> uh, one of the things that the, uh, Mega Man 11 team did, uh, was that they, uh, tried to, uh, make two existing stages in the, uh, Mega Man series to, uh, get their engine ready. And the two that they used were, uh, Stone Man and Pump Man. Why those stages per in particular, I'm not quite sure, but still, you know, interesting that they used those as a basis. Yes, even Mets cannot hide under their helmets safely. None can withstand the power of the flinch! Anyway, it would be cool that if, uh, we get, like, some kind of DLC or something where we get to play classic stages in the Mega Man universe that are built in the, uh, Mega Man 11, uh, engine. Like, say, go through Stone Man stage, go through Pump Man stage, what have you. Only instead of just going through their stages, we could actually, I don't know, fight the different Robot Masters loaded with the power and speed gears. Of course, Robot Masters like Burner Man and uh, Quick Man having the speed gear would be terrifying. Even more so would probably be Shadow Man. I'm sorry. That guy terrifies me whenever we're trying to fight him. Uh, for a while, I always thought the best way to tackle this was to use the speed gear and jump up there. But it's very tricky timing. And that would not be the speed gear. speed gear. So, yeah. Not exactly the most time. Oh! But I did it anyway. Nice. <laughs> and this is why I'm not a big fan of Blazing Torch. I mean, it definitely has its uses, but... They're kind of few and far between. In fact, point. So it goes through the barrier of that thing. Nice. Okay. Still few and far between. Let's get ready to crumble! This. <laughs> Toad man that can defend himself? Ow. Ah! 
Ah! And Blockman broke me. Or Blockman bust me. Um, yeah. One moment, guys. <laughs> That's embarrassing. <laughs> Beat, you failed me! <laughs> No, don't overwrite that. I want to load this. Thank you. Yes, please. Ta-da! And that's another way you can do it. Yay! Thank you. Okay! Now back to block man. Oh. Never thought you'd make it this far. I'll drop you like a ton of bricks. Not if I drop you first. Okay. So the first part of the fight is all about positioning. And it's also about not <laughs> calling on your on your best friend. Yeah, that's basically the fight of uh, Blockman. It's all about positioning. Quote Peridot. <laughs> what? No blockhead? No. <laughs> well, I beat him. <laughs> Seemed a little bit tougher than, uh, than in the demo. Uh, maybe it's just my imagination. Could be the fact that I'm a little bit on the sleepy side. Anyway, and there we have it. Blockman defeated, and we got the block dropper. It's, it's a weapon. You can drop a ton of bricks on everybody. And with power gear. Ton of bricks. Not much to say about this, it's just, you know, it's a weapon. Ooh, what do we got here? Hmm. Doctor, is something wrong? The double gear system. It was so very long ago. The double gear system. It puts an incredible strain on the robots that use it. And if it fell into the wrong hands, it could be used to cause terrible harm. To the machines and At the time, else. a committee was convened, and Wiley's research was cancelled. How ironic. That my efforts to quench Wiley's hot-headedness before it led him astray only ended up fueling the fire. Doctor, I never knew. If only I'd shown him there was a way to work together, instead of just telling him that he was wrong. Maybe we'd still be friends. Rush, help Mega Man and keep him safe. Be a good boy now. No. We've got this, Rush. Okay, let's go. That was an actually really touching scene, like. Really nice uh, character development between Wily and Light, and shows the history between them. Yeah, that you know, dang. Kudos to Mega Man 11 team. That was actually really, really touching. Really good. <laughs> 
And, uh... And, of course, Rush breaks the tension. Just like in the cartoon. Gosh darn it, Rush! I'm gonna go ahead and save right here, and call it a video. And call it a day, for that matter. So, until then, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.